Hello guys, this is RC Shim from my car because it's damn cold outside. But today I want to test some different video receivers. And for that reason I installed an antenna on top of my car with antenna extension cable. And this extension cable goes into the receiver I'm testing at the moment. And then the video cable goes up to the monitor here. So First I will test how far I can go with the Quantum receiver. Here and one thing outside there between the trees I have my pole uh, with the camera and 25 milliwatt transmitter and it has a one meter extension cable which further degrades the output power uh, about half the, the power so it's only 10-15 milliwatts transmitting here with the skew planner wheel and receiving receiving on top of the car with another skew planner wheel antenna and by always using the same antenna I have a fair comparison also have to measure GPS distance of course here in the monitor I'm in video mode Ah, nee, ich sieht. Ich schaue nur. Sie hat nur geschaut. Nice. Es ist kompliziert. Okay, let's go. So with only few. What's sending? I'm going and going. Yeah, just see how far I get until the image gets really bad. So keep in mind we really have only a few milliwatts, and this is about 150 meters now. Okay, so we're at 169 meters now. The little receiver here shows yeah, zero, zero reception. So I will try to use the immersion receiver now with the same antenna. That's the plan. Okay, so I'm on channel one. And I have absolutely no signal with the immersion. Internal receiver sees something. <laughs> oh, come on. Can't be true. Oh, yeah. Of course, um, now you see that the internal, internal receiver has image. Because I have not the penalty of a 3 meter extension cable to the upper antenna. So, yeah. Of course, even if inside the car we see something with the antenna attached directly. The third video receiver I want to test is the FR632. Okay, we're on channel 1 and I don't see anything. Use a direct, as a direct comparison. The, yeah. So I'm on the correct frequency. If I attach a skew planner wheel on the second antenna port here, I get signal, not the best one, but I get something. And if I just use the antenna on the roof with the 3 meter cable penalty, I do see nothing. So let me switch back to the little quantum here. Okay, so I'm still on uh, the small quantum. Yeah, the, at least, I mean it's not flyable, but at least I have an image, some sort of image. It says zero, de zero percent RSSI. Out of those three receivers, the Quantum wins this, this little test here. Gonna change the position here. 
on the on the mobile phone I see the distance to start coordinates and they were at 168 meters now but we see of course the image is degrading my 200 meter mark it's really okay to come so far okay what I did now I I moved the pole and have it higher up see my my car moving away here hope you can see it we're at 70 80 meters 100 meters yeah 100 meters the signal is getting bad here drive this 200 meter to the pole see how consistent the image is and it's uh, it's worse here because we have some reflections maybe this comparison I drove the same way three times with different receivers and don't judge the, the quality of the screen because filming it with GoPro in low light conditions wasn't the best idea but uh, see how it the video drops in and out on different receivers and for this comparison for me the winner is the immersion because it had the most consistent image and the FR632 was dropping out the most so it lost here and the quantum is in between I'd say Changed, uh the antenna on the roof uh, to this 13 GB patch. We are 825 meters away and that's that's truly amazing. We have not the best but we have image. So you see in this practical application how antenna gain is working because the directional antenna now has 13 dB. Just out of curiosity I'm switching to the yeah, and this is amazing. Look at this. I barely get it. Um, the internal module, this antenna here, behind the glass, it gets some signal. How cool is this? So now with the directional patch on the roof, I will cycle through my three different receivers here. So the FR632 had some image, not the best, but he had one. The immersion image is the image that would be the most useful for flying. I would conclude that the Quantum and the FR632 are about the same. Okay, so lessons learned. The Quantum Autoscan was surprisingly good. It had good range and few dropouts. The FR632 in single antenna mode as I tested it here worked okay but it was quite jumpy sometimes the picture would drop in sometimes it drops out so it's more it more felt digital and the good old immersion RC I had the version 3 of the Duo 58 here it works overall the best I'd say not the best range maybe but the most consistent image you get a lot of static, but it doesn't drop out fully, so that seems to be the difference. And of course it's the, the most expensive one of those three. But with this setup I can at least um, get to the range maximum, which is very far, even with 25 milliwatts. Of course you have to consider that if uh, the video transmitter is on a multicopter, that you have a lot of interference from the motors and the ESCs and so on. So you will probably get about half the range that I got now if you are using a flying object. It is not as much of an issue on a plane 
I think I will I uh, will uh, repeat these testings again in in the spring with the copter but yeah that's that's all I can show you about the receivers at the moment hope you liked it thanks for watching bye